giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with Stryker. Discover why so many first alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to view openings, internships, and co-ops tailored to those who are in first. That's careers.stryker.com forward slash first. And by the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archived first robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And also viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Hey everyone, how is it going? Um, in this show, we're going to talk about infant recharge, what could have been, season unfortunately cut short. I'm Sohib Nadim. I'm Tegan Pulse. I'm Chris. And these are my two kids in the chat. So we have Adi and Cassie. Do you want to introduce yourselves and what you do on the team? Uh, hey, I'm, we're from Team 5036. I'm the programmer on my team. And yeah. Uh, I'm Cassie. I and I was the electrical lead this year, and I also handled a lot of the business on our team. All right, guys. So how does everyone feel? Let's just do like a quick round table. How do we feel about infinite recharges in the game? What it could have been? Oh, I thought you were going to say, how do we feel? And I was just going to be like, <laughs> I've lost all track of time. Feel. Uh, I don't know. We never saw a real strat play out. Uh, that's kind of what I was looking forward to was like waiting till we actually hit like some top tier meta stuff and we never got there. So that's kind of my, my thing I'm missing out on right now. Chris? Yeah, unfortunately, our team never hit carpet either. So uh, I did get to go up and watch the Luth happen. It was kind of cool to see the game start, you know, progressing a little bit further. Um, it's a shame only one color wheel ever got completed in stage three. Um, I was kind of looking forward to more uh, shots being put up and whatnot, but yeah, we we had a we uh, students still had a great robot. They are super proud of what they accomplished, and you know, it's not competition isn't everything all the time. Just, Our, just so, hey, how do you feel? <laughs> how, how do I feel? Oh God, um, that's a dangerous question. Uh, <laughs> so after Durham. Um, I would have probably answered the same way that I'm going to answer now. Um, we worked really hard after Durham to actually get the robot functional. Um, it actually climbs now and stuff. And then the day of, uh, it was pretty much like, I think 10 or 11, the day we're supposed to load into Ryerson. And it was like, the event is canceled. How, how about you guys? Um, did you guys have yeah, any of we I know you went to Duluth, to right? And then... Tegan, you guys were going to go to, I believe it was Carlton. We were at Carlton, yeah. And we, were, we weren't we were packed up yet, which was good. Uh, good. But we did have, like, the climber was working. It was on the robot. And yet another year that uh, 4476 will not climb in the end game of an official match. So I think we're, like, what, three for three in the last three years? <laughs> so, so. I, I mean, what could have been, right? Yeah. Um, Adi and Cassie, you guys aren't seniors on the team, right? So you guys will get to come back yeah. next year, right? Yeah. But how I'm, do you guys feel about, like, this whole situation? I was well, excited. I'm, yeah, okay, go ahead. Sorry, I'm, I'm glad that I will get to come back for another season because I definitely, like, I feel better for the seniors on our team where this is their last season and that's just it for them as a student. Um, I was definitely looking forward to seeing some of the more strategic aspects of it, but overall, I'm really proud of how our team, like, came together in the end since we did have a couple rough patches, but... Overall, like, although cut short, the season was fun from a student's point of view. Um, even just working with other people and, like, not seeing it from an advanced point of view. Like, seeing all of the sadness behind it. So, I definitely, I don't know. I am I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I learned a lot this season as electrical and just generally as a member being a member of a team like things to do things not to do stuff like that Adi? uh yeah i was excited for this year's game like the the goal itself was like humongous so like it, it would have been fun to shoot around 
it just it was just sad to see it come in quickly. But yeah, overall, it was just like yeah, it it was a good season. Like even though we didn't perform as well, it was fun. Yeah. So Adi, how about you tell everyone what we did the night before Ryerson? Oh, so the night before Ryerson, so uh, that day we didn't have a meeting, right? So we took the robot home to Sohib's house, and then he lives. So and then in the halls, we tuned all the PADs so we could have a proper working out at Ryerson. And next thing we know, <laughs> Ryerson ended. <laughs> yeah, and so then I stayed up. Babe. Programming all the autos that we could have used, then yeah. Well, off-season events are going to be the new thing, though. I think there's going to be a lot of exciting ones uh, in Ontario, in Minnesota, in Indiana. I think this year will be the year of the off-season, so hopefully you guys will at least be able to show those off there somewhere. Uh, I don't know how you feel about that. It's not the same, but... I mean, a field it's is something. a field, so, yeah. A field's a field, a field, yeah. Yeah. I definitely agree with you. Like, it is kind of disappointing, but at least we do have the huge off-season period where we, like, we can still attend events, even though they're not as important to qualify for a championship or whatever. An event is still an event, and it's the same great experience. So, they're, I feel like they definitely are going to have a lot more excitement this year, and they're going to be a lot more important to teams. I, th- I mean, everyone always says, hey, IRI is like champs, but now it is literally champs. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. so that'll be definitely something that'll be good to watch. I don't know how you guys feel with that. And as seniors, I don't know what your plans are for life and stuff, but volunteering too. And same for Twitch chat. If you're like feeling deprived, if you're an alumni who didn't plan on being an alumni just yet, uh, volunteering is something that I can't hype up enough. I was volunteering at week two, and it was pretty, pretty great. So, I mean, I would highly recommend that to anyone who's watching, who is feeling a little bit down right now. Uh, it's really cool to get back like that. Yeah, my dad does a lot of volunteering as well. Uh, field, he does a lot of field supervising, and me and him went up to Duluth, and he kept his field badge so he could go talk to all of his volunteer friends at the side of the field the entire time. So... You definitely make you definitely make a whole lot of friends there just volunteering, uh, just doing yeah. field and stuff like that. You'll it's a whole still a whole lot of like-minded people that usually don't get yeah. to talk. And cool. especially like you'll meet people too at your schools when you go to university or college or whatever they call it in America, uh, and most of them like will have some first alum group there that is uh, worth connecting with. Hint hint, go to Queens. Queens is great. And I happen to know slash be the president of their alumni group, so we can get you in touch there. Um, so I think in Twitch now we have discussing what's your favorite off-season event. So maybe if, I don't know, 5036, have you guys been to one recently? I can't remember. Uh, recently. We didn't go last year. Right? We went, I think the last one was, what, 2018? Yeah, 2018 yeah. Fall Fiesta. Yeah, Fall 2018 Fiesta. 2018 was my fall, my, was my first event that I ever went to like as a student on the team like I had watched them previously Mm -hmm. a little bit but that was the first one that I had attended as a student so that event is always going to have a soft spot in my heart yeah because like to break it to you but it's canceled yeah yeah Yeah. I I heard it wasn't running this year I know (laughs) remember what I canceled Israel last year now everything's canceled Oh, it should be good though. We're looking to go oh, to man. some events maybe in the U.S. next year too, so that should be good because we were gonna get to play with twenty one sixty eight and sixty three twenty eight at Ryerson, and uh, that chance or er, not Ryerson, geez, Carlton. Carlton. So hopefully we get to see you guys at an event in the near future, because uh, that would be super cool. Hey, friends but from Canada, that, let me just ask you real quick. I know that IRI this year was bumped up uh, to June. And I think there was a big conflict with a lot of people in Canada. Um, does that potentially, does that dynamic change now that schools are canceled or anything like that? Or how do you foresee something like that? Can we see, actually see some teams from Canada attending IRI this year? I, I mean, think it depends yeah. on the school. Yeah. It depends yeah. on the province you're talking. I don't know what uh, you guys are thinking for, uh, like, 
I don't know what 5036 is thinking. If you guys want to do off seasons in June, I don't even know if it will end up being in June, right? We don't know that yet. Um, June's kind of hard. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Because usually for us, it's like exam time. Yeah, if schools are back in session, yeah. it'll still be really tricky. Uh, if they're not, or if they're delayed, it might be okay. I know, like, I'm obviously not in high school anymore, thank God. But, like, I know my sister's school isn't going back until the middle of April. So after that, I think they're supposed to be back in session. And then the rest, like, that's some private schools. Some public schools will just be at whatever Trudeau says we're going to do. Um <laughs> And then, like, out west is different. I think out west they're canceled, so, like, teams from Alberta might be able to go. Uh, but other than that, I'm not totally sure. It's kind of depending on what each province does. And it's not like we really know what's going to happen. Yeah, um, I think, like, uh, even if schools aren't back in session, it'll probably be harder because a lot of teams can't access their robots because they're at the schools. So it'll be interesting to see what actually happens there. So. Um, you also have so many teams off- applying. I- I'd love to do an off-season. The robot's sitting in my living room right now, so <laughs> need to go out and actually do something. Yeah. Living room. But yeah, <laughs> Tyler's question will be interesting, right? Because there's like some border stuff going on. It'd be really cool to see 11-14, 20-56. Maybe some California teams can come out and compete. I don't think anyone's publicly seen 20-56 yet, so... Um, Correct. Along with a lot of other, yeah, it's along with a lot of other other great teams like nine seven one and these teams. So it'll be really cool to sort of see what they put together, like what just have everyone just celebrate robots, right? The situation's kind of a downer as it is, but you know we still got robots at the end of the day. So yeah, yeah. I know Minnesota's got like four or five off season events. Yeah. I know we go to three of them and we co-host one of them, uh, but three of them are like during the school year i think only one of them is actually during the summer so uh, Would you, are you guys looking at traveling further to go to more or is that still like is everything still not in the, like up in the air everything's kind of still up in the air i know minnesota's still trying to scramble to get some kind of season like actual season yeah. together because i think they still want to try to have a state competition um but right. with about half the teams not having competed it's like how do we rank everybody for it um so Still up in the air. We don't know how long things are going to be, you know, on lockdown for. So, Chris, we can offer them the uh, FRC top twenty-five, and they can just vote for it. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Oh, Mind, there lineup we go. solved. Flawless. Everyone will totally make that decision. There are no <laughs> issues with this at all. Not right. No. Nope. I will bring it up to them personally. I will go talk to all of the first and upper Midwest people. Yeah, so, Mark, if you're listening, listening, we'll make it happen. Come on. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, do we want to do top 10 slash 25 stuff yet, or should we keep uh, people on their toes a little longer? Let's keep them on their toes a little. Yeah. yeah, keep them on their toes. Let's go around. Um, one team each. Not the obvious picks, though, that you love this season outside of the top 10. Let's go. Uh, Is it we'll... loved or like would have loved to see? Um, let's say loved, and then we'll go back to who we'd love to see <laughs> after. Hmm. <laughs> Can we can we start with the students? Give them the the advantage yeah. of going first. Does it have yes. to be from like <laughs> like north? Yeah, so it does have yeah. to be from north. like the north region. Northern yeah. region. Um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Got to choose one team out of all of them. They'll only this all. This is what the mentors do. All they have to think of is Wait, team. so so teams that haven't got been like shown or no have have competed in like Ontario, Minnesota, or Indiana. Or the other state, the Dakota one. North Dakota, that's the one. <laughs> uh, teams that are not in top 10 are supposedly here, not. Or like, here, I'll, I'll make it easier for you. Just pick anyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was going to say, uh, like, one of the bigger shocking teams this year was 50-24. We were, yeah. Yeah. Because we competed yeah. with them at last year at Ryerson. They, they were really good, but they weren't, like, in my opinion, they weren't, like, first-seeded team. And at, um, what do you call it, at uh, Humber, they Humber, were, like, yeah. really good. Yeah, they, they were, like, one of the, like, shocking teams for me. That's fair. Yeah. I, I think, think uh, your team. Um, 
uh, not an obvious pick. Well, it might be an obvious pick, but I don't really know a lot of teams. I don't really pay attention to them. I'm sorry. I know I'm slacking. Um, <laughs> probably makeshift 4039 or, you know, the obvious pick 188. Um, I'm just sort of partial to makeshift just because I spoke to them a lot on my free time and I, their robot just fascinated me. I can't really explain it. Fair enough. It's, it's so the color. Fair choices. Um, <laughs> ooh, good, good question. I was just trying to think. Um, shout out to all the every bots this season. You did really well in early weeks and a lot of a lot more. There were only early bots. weeks. There were. <laughs> so you mean all of them? In all the early that competed, good job. So if you had an every bot, you get brownie points from me. I loved all you guys. I'm gonna say 2491, no mythic. Oh, they were really mythic. good. He's picked Tyler. Well, cause you're fr- I had to do the one that wasn't Ontario, okay? True. 2491 yeah. did very well. Uh, very impressed with them. And hopefully they get a slot at champs next year because they deserve that slot. They worked hard for it. <laughs> now yep. you have to come up with a team from <laughs> yep. not Minnesota. They were awesome. Uh, hopefully they're behind the bumpers. will come out at some point that, that I did there. Uh, they had an amazing robot. Um, it was great talking with them. They're always a fun team. But now that I can't choose them, Gonna go the, with the pits right across from them was uh, Nightcrawlers 20, 2052. They were they were on their game putting in shots, and it would have been cool to see where they would have even improved further on. But uh, they were they were allied together, so I'd I'd like to see them that list. Uh, the poll okay, running into, oh, chat. wait, wait. I've got one more team that I did want to shout out, actually. I did want to say a big congratulations to, um, I think, 234 this year actually really impressed me. Um, I'd seen some questionable, like, not questionable. That's a really bad way to put it. But, like, I'd seen, like, glimpses of really good, good greatness come out. And then this year they really pulled it out being, you know, captain of the first seed at Bloomington. So for the Twitch chat that was talking about, Indiana, not getting included. It was 234, but I had to look up their number because I couldn't remember their number. So they also did quite well this year. All right. All right. So with that, guys, we're going to move to our giveaway. Tyler, do you want to tell us about the Andy Mark GOAT? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so our friends at uh, Andy Mark RV, uh, they're giving away a uh, one of the awesome Andy Mark GOATs. Guys, these things are awesome. And you gotta uh, you got to get in on this, right? So who doesn't want an Andy Mark GOAT to cheer up what a uh, – you know, interesting week it's been uh, so far. So uh, once again, our friends at Andy Mark, they're also going to be including a coupon code as well too. Uh, if you're interested in picking up some Andy Mark stuff during our uh, quote unquote suspended season uh, as we go through this as well. What have we decided on the keyword, guys? I saw a couple different things. The keyword so the is... keyword Dunord. So D-A-N-O-R-D. And for those of so for those of you guys who don't know, Nord is uh, Nord en français. So Dunord... Uh, D-A-N-O-R-D. Put that in chat. All right, so Nord. Two, two words, by the way. So just like it is, don't forget, uh, you do need to be uh, following Nord to win, and our subscribers get five times luck. And uh, whoever said that, I want the Andy Mark McRib is a sick individual. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so good luck. We'll draw for that in just a few minutes. Yes. All right. Oh. All right. Before, before we get I, with you talking there, Tyler. I believe we have a striker ad for you to talk about. Yeah, just keep keep cueing me in. Let's go. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, someone's right, gonna do. Want, do you want to give a big shout out? Back. Yeah, uh, I mean, guys, we we know that the uh, competition season is suspended. Guess what that means? You got plenty of time if you're still looking to get that last internship, co-op, career, anything like that going. Uh, you know, a lot of questions going on right now, obviously, but Striker is a company that is here for you. Uh, you can check them out, careers.stryker.com, to find out what's available. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to search what's in Canada uh, this time. Nothing. Uh, no, the 11 jobs are available in Canada, uh, as Family. you can see on screen. So uh, so I, to Tegan's surprise, she's now going to be interested. So, uh, so with that said, uh, go and check she's them out, see what they have going on yeah. anywhere. I, oh, I don't wow. know. We can just That's... type in anything. Minnesota. I don't know. Milwaukee, maybe. Hey, jobs even near me. I don't even have to go to Michigan this time. Lots of stuff available all the way around. Careers.stryker.com forward slash first to find out some amazing careers might be available for you. Go work for a company that actually supports you being in first. You know, and if you want to actually, once competitions come back, actually travel and actually have a company that supports you traveling for these competitions, give Striker a shout out. Go check them out. And thanks a lot for Striker for supporting content like this show. 
Striker, the best. They even have jobs in Canada. <laughs> even in Canada, eh? Hey. All right. Way up there in the north. In the north. In all of our igloos. Um, all right, guys. Uh, one team from everybody. Who would we have liked to see this year? I'm going to take the easy one. 2056. Next. Uh, I'll pair you off with 5406. They were supposed to compete at Ryerson as well, so those two would have made a pretty power combo. Because 2056 had registered for Ryerson last minute, so it would have been super oh, OP. Did they? Yes, they did. I expect they were probably trying to get a play in before everything was canceled. Before everything, uh, was, oh, but that would have been a really OP alliance. That would have literally. been, yeah. <laughs> that would have been interesting. Um, Adi, how about you? One team uh, you'd like to see this year? From I the would North say, region. oh, North Region. Man, yeah, I you can't go poops. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, nine seven one, but uh, nah, okay, Cassie, you go now. Come back. The <laughs> uh, Tegan and so I took my choice is fifty four oh six and twenty fifty and twenty fifty six, but and I'm not sure their their number, so I maybe you can help me out here. I would have liked to see Victoria Park co- Victoria Park compete. Forty nine fourteen. Forty nine fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. Forty nine fourteen. Okay. Chris, are you going to be able to come up with one that isn't in Ontario? Because we just took, like, four. Uh, I'm just going to go with all the rookie teams. I feel bad for all the rookie teams that didn't get a chance to do anything. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's true. All the rookie true. teams that are kind of just like, well, what, that miss out that experience because there's no way to describe the experience. Of yeah, that's it. true. Um, 2481 is another one, too, eh, that didn't get to play. They're another good one that has something up their hand. So, all right. Um, so now, who won this goat? Tyler, how about you tell us who won this goat in chat? The goat. goat. Our goat. Oh, won the goat giveaway. Away. All right, and then we got to quickly do the. Uh, we got to quickly do the FRC top ten before we head out here, guys, as well too. So, uh, so with that said, the Nord yeah. was the keyword, and Lino is uh, our winner. Congratulations, Lino. Uh, for those who know, we do let our hosts win as long as they're not currently hosting the show. And Lino is the host of our uh, show in Mexico that'll be on in, in about a half hour or so. So, congrats, to Lino. The good start. Bunch of so red emotes we- in chat. Let's bang out that We the North top 10 for uh, overall in our long and hard season. <laughs> All right. So our first team, Team 2200, MRM Robotics. I never know how to say that. Team 188, the first Canadian team, <laughs> Blizzard. Uh, number three, Team 1114, Symbotics. Number four, uh, Team Dave, 3683. Number five, 2338, Garrett Forward. Number six, shout out to 865, Warp 7. Number seven, 5172, the Gators. Always love that team. Seven, 1756, Argos at number eight. Number nine, we have team 1720, Fixed, fixed Gears. Fixed Gears. And <laughs> number 10, fixed. Uh, we have team 2609, Beaverworks, who built to every bot. So you get a bunch of love from me. They're also one of the teams that got to compete two weeks in a row. So, I mean, it's a pretty good strat. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I'll it's, take pre- it. it's pretty lucky. Yeah. All right. All right, so I'd just like to thank everyone uh, for tuning in today. I know, like, the season's been kind of cut short, but one thing we want you guys to know is Fun's going to be producing a lot of awesome content with a lot of awesome teams in chat, so please stay tuned for that. Um, We ask that you tell everyone that, hey, our season's still alive and that this is the place to go for your first robotics fix because who doesn't need a little bit of a first robotics fix right now? If you have a few bucks, we'd, appreci- we'd appreciate it. If not, we appreciate you tuning in. We'd like to thank all the moderators in chat, as well as our producer, Tyler, uh, our host, Tegan, Chris, and Adi and Cassie. I'd like to thank them for coming on. Uh, on behalf of us, we'd like to thank you for tuning in and hope to see you soon. The next show is the best of the West. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.